Hey everyone, welcome back to Siren. We're continuing on this time with Kiyoya and Miyako, and we have not seen them in a while. Uh, last time we saw them, they had uh, were taking a nap in the abandoned house that Risa had come across once, and uh, we're taking up with them again now in that house. If you take a look at the bottom right save file, it says the time is day two, one o'clock. So we are going into the second day now. However, due to the way the timeline works, we will be going back into the first day. But for right now, we're actually going into day two, 1 a.m., Kiyoya and Miyako in the house. Let's see what they're getting up to. What was that? It's them. I don't think we need to ask who they are. We already know, and we know that we have to get out of this abandoned house, and we can see a flashlight coming down this way. Someone's, yep, someone's walking by. Let's sight jack and see who's in here. All right, and that's the guy who's walking around. And there's a guy hanging out with a gun. And someone outside. And that is probably Miyako. All right. Let's take a look at the map. So this is the house we're in, and you can see where we're starting off. We have to get out of the house. The entrance is not far away from where we are, but we're going to have to try to get past this one Shibito to get there. That's the kitchen where uh, Risa had been in when she was here, but that door was locked. She was not able to get into the rest of the house. So this is the first time we've been in the rest of the house. And there is a second floor. So let's see if we can get there. The sub-objective did say to find the uh, submerged key, which would make it sound like we have to get to the bathroom. So let's try to get out of this, out of this room and see what we can find. Nothing important in there. Let's have Miyako come with us, even though it can be a little bit difficult to uh, navigate with Miyako in these tight hallways. It's probably a good thing to take her with us, in case someone comes in this room while we're not here. Unfortunately, we can't open this up. But we should remember that there is an altar that's all tied up around here. Alright, that guy's walking the other way. But if we go this way, there's a storeroom. And it's locked. However, if you remember, way back at the beginning of the game, Kiyoya picked up this key. Back when he was running around with Hisako, um, he found this key on the side of the street on just a corner, and we picked it up, and we didn't know why at the time we were picking that up, but this is why we picked it up, because it is the key to the storeroom in this house. I guess the owner of the house just left the key, just dropped it, when they were out in the town, because for whatever reason, it's here. Anyway, let's head on inside. Ouch! What's going on here? Uh. Dummy. Miyako, don't be so judgmental. It's dark, and that's hard to see, and it's scary. It's very scary in here. Oh. Where is it? Oh, now who's a dummy? Come, Comes in here... Just insulting Kiyoya, and now she drops something that she had on her, and she can't find it. 
And that's actually the entire reason that we had to open up this storeroom. It was so Miyako could come in, drop something, and then uh, open up a second objective for Harumi later on in the game. Forget it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to find it. We're going to have to leave it behind. Maybe Harumi will be able to make better use of it later on. For right now, though, we have to get the drop on this Shibito who's walking around. He's down. But now there's someone at the end of the hallway who wasn't there before. It's the guy with the gun. So he heard that, and he came running out to see what was going on, but we were too far away. He couldn't see us. So we know where he's hanging out now. I know! I know, Miyako! But we can't go too fast, otherwise we are going to be shot. Is that what you want, Miyako? Is that... Look, let's take advantage of the fact that we know where this guy is. And we're gonna get him out of there. Hey! Alright, check this out, Miyako. Check out the strategy that's going on here. Impressed. Alright, so he's down. So now we can get out of here. Except we can't because the front door's been nailed shut. We can't open this up. So we're going to have to find another way out of this house. We could take a look in here. At this hidey hole. But there's nothing in here that's interesting. There's just tabletop lighter. But even if it was working, we have nothing we'd want to light up. All right, let's take a look at the rest of this house. Except that guy's up. Uh, all right, he's walking in there. Let's just leave him be. This is the door to the kitchen, but it's locked. And we don't have the door to this. We don't have the key. We don't have the door. We don't have the key to that door. Is Miyako following? Yeah, there she is. Here's the bathroom. Oh, there's someone hanging out outside. Someone hanging out outside, Miyako. He's right there. However, he can't hear us, it seems. Hey! Yeah. I mean, he's right there, but he can't seem to hear us. But there is a bath, and while a bath sounds lovely right now, a bath of red water, maybe not. So, let's just pull this chain. You know, if, if I told you to hide in there, Miyako, would you hide in the bathtub? Where would you hide? Oh, no, you're just going to hide there? I thought you were going to just jump into the bath, and that would have been funny, but you didn't do it. And it looks like that we disturbed someone's bath time, but whatever it was, it went down the drain, so I guess it won't be a problem. Anyway, we got the key to the desk drawer. We have to open a drawer, wherever that might be. Alright, so if we were trying to find a drawer, we've been a good amount around the downstairs at this point, but we have not been upstairs, and there are some bedrooms there. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs and see what we can find. Oh, the guy with the gun's getting up. No! Oh, someone else saw me. This could be bad. Oh, he was distracted by Miyako. He was going after her. So that actually ended up being a good thing for me. Alright, let's go upstairs. Alright, that was actually kind of close. These Shibito are still nailing wood across windows and doors. They're doing that here, too, but we don't know why. And there's a desk with a built-in drawer right here. Fancy. Maybe let's use our key to open it up. 
You've got to get moving. I, I know, but we got the pliers. Look, Miko, pliers would be an invaluable tool when you're trying to survive. You can do a bunch of things with them. Like, say, open an altar, you know? You can cut wire with with pliers. It can be used to cut thin pieces of wire. Oh, we still have our screwdriver, too. I don't think we ever use that for anything, but we still have it in case we need it. But now we have pliers, and now let's use that to open up that altar. Nothing that's really getting our attention up in this room. Not really sure what this is on top of the draw on top of the desk. It's like pieces of wood and wire, I guess, but I'm not really sure what it's for. Anyone coming up? Alright, someone's getting up. Where's this guy coming? Oh, there's someone else in here. What? That one wasn't here before. Alright, so we have two of them walking around. Alright, so... That's something we'll have to deal with in a minute. Both these doors are locked, and we cannot unlock them. So we're going to have to head downstairs, and it does not seem so great down there right now. Is the guy with the gun still down? Yeah, he is still out. So, let's take out these two. And that's one. That guy's still down, and I guess the other one is gonna- Oh yeah, the other one's up there. Let's just rush, I guess. Why not? No. Oh, she's fast. She's actually quite tougher than the first one. Alright, but we got her. All right, just trying to walk by her. Let's go. I took a lot of hits. I'm actually kind of surprised I survived that. But that's fine, because we got to the altar. This is where we need to be. Let's use those pliers. All right, what's so important that they had to tie it up? We've got a new archive item, an idol found in the altar. Let's check out our archive. Oh, actually, there's another one that we did not look at. Yeah, last time, Shiro got Kyo Yasuda's student ID holder. We didn't take a look at this yet. There it is. I guess that's sauce on the ID holder. I guess that's what that is. Let's see. The villagers used to used to use the fish as a symbol of worship to avoid religious persecution. It was made a uh, made note of by uh, by Tam Tamman before asking about that it's curious that a landlocked village worshipped a uh, a sea god and why that would be the case. All right, let's pick up this key. Oh, someone just hanging out outside uh, beneath the house. Oh no, I don't want to hit her. <laughs> Trying to avoid hitting Miyako. Okay, there we go. This was a very cramped battle. Th this could have gone badly. Alright, so it looks like this guy 
made an exit for us. But before we go out through that exit, let's uh, take a look at this worn newspaper. It's a yellow newspaper. It was used as an underlay for the mat, and it is an archive item. Yeah, that, that little battle right there. I was kind of worried that either Kiyoya or Miyako was going to die. That could have gone badly. Anyway, here's a newspaper. It's from 1975. It's talking about how there's been heavy rainfall causing ground shrinkage around air defense facilities and that this may result in further damage in the area. So repairs are needed due to the heavy rain. But we don't need to worry about that right now. That was back in the 70s. Surely they fixed all that. Let's head out. I mean, if we knew it was so easy just to pick up one of the mats and get out, well... All right, we made it out, but our mission is not over. What? Who's this guy? All right, someone is just running towards the entrance. Who else is out here? All right, there's someone, yeah, okay, the guy with the gun is by the entrance. Anyone else out here? All right, there's someone walking around. All right, I'm only seeing two. Yeah, there's the other guy. That is not the guy with the gun. And I know, uh, Miyako, I know that we need to hurry. Actually, no, this is the guy with the gun. Hey, how you doing? He was looking the wrong way. All right, there's the exit. We could we could get out of here right now. We could do it right now. But I mean, there's collectibles to be found. We need to find all the collectibles. And there's one remaining. It's this red flower right here. It's easily missable. We're going to take it. It's a bright red flower. We got the Midnight Pimpernel. Let's have a look. So yeah, you can easily miss that one because you might just go straight for the exit. It belongs to the cactus family. It blooms only once, flowering at night and wilting before dawn. Very beautiful flower, but it's only a very, uh, it's a very temporal flower. But now that we've gotten that, well, there's no reason for us to hang out here. So let's take Miyako with us. Let's walk slowly so she doesn't lose track of us. That guy with the gun is not getting up anytime soon. And let's just walk right on out of here. Mission accomplished. And yeah, we're going to save. Uh, save over that one. Yep, so that's what Kiyoya and Miyako have been up to early in the morning on day two. They took a nap in the abandoned house, but that house got invaded by Shibito, as everywhere has been invaded by Shibito, and they had to get out. Where they're going now, who knows? But next time... I don't know. We I don't believe we pick up with them next time. Next time I believe we're going to be doing a second objective on a mission that we have already done before. So unfortunately not a new level, but it is another objective on a uh, a level that we've already been on. So if you've been trying to keep track of all of these little things that we've been doing to make these secondary objectives possible, I guess you'll be able to eliminate one of the things off of that list so far. And we'll be doing that next time. I'll see you then.